Hi everyone, uh, time for video number three in this uh, Scratch series of videos. Uh, this one we're going to be doing some artwork. Um, it's a really, really nice project. Looks fab when you've finished it. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Let's crack on straight away. So again, I'm going to delete the cat. Uh, and this time, for the sprite that I'm going to add, I'm going to use the ball. Okay. Uh, now, first thing again, it's really, really big. Uh, I'm actually going to make it quite small. I'm going to change it so it's 40, like that. Okay, uh, now for this project, we're going to be using the pen tools. Now, if you have a look down the side here, we don't have the pen tools at the moment. All we need to do is add them. So if we click on add extension, you'll see there's loads in here. It's really interesting to have a look at what's in here sometimes. Um, the text to speech ones are absolutely fab, uh, but we're going to be using the pen ones. So I'm going to click on there. And you'll see now that down here I've got the pen and then I've got lots of extra blocks. So they're the ones that we're going to be using today. All right. So let's start off. We're going to get the, uh, there's the fun bit of code and then there's the boring bit of code. We're going to get the, f uh, the boring bit done first. The boring bit is just a quick reset button. It comes in handy, makes your project much easier to use. So we're going to make the, the reset button first just to get that out of the way. So uh, I'm going to do when I press go, when I press green, let me just zoom in again. There we go. Uh, the first thing I want it to do is I want to erase everything. Now, I know we've not done anything yet, but let's just pop that in there. It means that every time we press it, any pen marks are just erased straight away. And then the other thing we want it to do is we want the ball to go right to the dead center of the screen. So to do that, I'm going to go to motion. Uh, I'm going to go to go to, but I'm going to change these numbers to zero zero uh, so the scratch um, stage sort of works like that x y axis so you've got x and y um, and zero zero is bang smack in the middle so when I press green it should go back to the center if I move it anywhere else it will go back to the center that's it that's all we need for that one so I'm going to add a comment I'm going to put in my annotations so that's how we've made our reset button I'll pop that there Remove that down here out of the way. I don't need that for now. All right. So the next bit is the fun bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a pinwheel. We're going to make a, a wheel of color, a wheel of rainbow colors. It's going to look absolutely fabulous. So uh, for this, though, we're going to use lots of random numbers. So this is a really good activity for doing random numbers. Uh, let's get started. So let's say for this one, we're going to trigger it by pressing space. So instead of clicking on it, instead of pressing go, we're going to trigger it by pressing space. All right. So I'm going to load that one in there. And then what I need to do is I need to set my pen size at the start. So I'm going to go to my pen. I'm going to set my pen size. Okay. To I'm going to set it just to 0 0.5 to begin with. It's quite small, but I'm going to set my pen size to that to begin with. And then what I'm going to do, I'm also going to I'm going to put in another erase all. It just means that every time I press space, I know that I'm starting again. It's really handy to just sneak that in there. So I'm going to stick, sneak that one there. So we've got set the pen size, then we've got erase all. So now what we need is now we really need a repeat block. So we're going to repeat what we're doing to make this pinwheel pattern. All right. Uh, I'm going to repeat it 120 times. Sounds like a lot, but what we're going to have is 120 lines creating this pinwheel action. Uh, so let's look at what we're going to put inside our repeat. I'm going to put the pen down to begin with. All right, so I'm going to put the pen down. I'm going to get it to move some steps. I'm going to change that number. I'm going to change that number to a random number. So we find random number in operators, pick random, and I'm going to change it so that it's anywhere between. 20 steps and 160 steps that means it's it, it it starts off so it's it's big enough so that it's not too small it's also not too big that it goes off the edge of the screen all right so i'm gonna leave that there like that uh, and then what i want it to do is as soon as it's gone out so as soon as the ball has moved like that i want it to go back to the center again all right so i'm gonna get in another one of those Okay, I'm then going to get it to turn. Uh, now, because it's 120 
we're repeating it 120 times. If I want to get a perfect circle, I need it to turn three degrees because there are three 120s in 360. So I'm going to change that to three. Okay, I'm just checking my notes just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, let's have. Should we just have a look and see what that does so far? So let's have a look so far. So when I press space, there we go. So we've got 120 really thin lines. They're all blue at the moment, but they are random lengths. And each time I press space, you'll see that it generates a different one. It'll never ever be identical. Uh, every time we hit space, it'll do a different one. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play with two more things. We're gonna play with the color and we're gonna play with the width that the pen is drawing in. So let's do, let's sneak two more into here. Let's do set pen size two let's go back to that random number one again i'm going to pick a random number but this time it's going to be anywhere between 0 0.2 so really 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 fine uh, and we'll go up to about five so that's quite thick actually let's see what that's done so let's press space to go you can see that this time it's changing width the width of each line is changing stack to look a little bit more interesting but really you can't see each individual line because we've left it at one color it's sort of all blurring into one here so let's sort it so that we can change the color as well so what we'll do is we'll go back to our pen we'll do uh, change pen color uh, by five just a small amount so it's changing each time we do it so let's press space there you go how fab does that look so we've got a random generated pinwheel of color. Now, the only thing that I would add, let me just zoom out so you can see all of the code together. Uh, so if you wanna press pause, now's a really, really good time for you to do that. So I'll leave that on the screen. Um, but the only thing that I would do is, I, I, I don't like the ball being on the screen. So I'm gonna put in some hide and some shows to make it appear and disappear at different times. I think that'll uh, really add to it because the ball is sort of annoying really. So hide and show are in looks. So I'm gonna sneak them in. I want it to show when I start drawing. So while it's drawing, while it's drawing that pinwheel, we want the ball there. But once it's finished, we want it to hide. So as soon as it's finished drawing the pinwheel, we're gonna make it hide. I'm also gonna put a show in over here so that when we reset it, the ball will show. So when I press space now, you should be able to see the ball working away, doing its job. But as soon as it's finished, there you go, it's disappeared. Okay, um, now that's it for this project. But what, what this project is really, really good for is tinkering from you guys. So we could tinker with these numbers here with how long or how short each individual line is. You could tinker with this number here. We could change that so that it does more lines or less lines. If I wanted to say, make it do repeat 60 times, so it only did 60 lines, I'd have to make it so that it turns six degrees. So those two numbers, this number here and this number here are linked. They need to multiply together to make 360. But if I press go now, you can see that there are less lines could do it even more. I could change it to 180 lines where it's only uh, turning two degrees. Let's press space and it's doing even more lines. So I'm tinkering with the with the code, tinkering with the, the, the um, data within there to make it different each time. I could tinker with this. I could make it so that they, the lines are super thick or I could make it so that the lines are all super small. I could change it so that it's only changing color by one every time. So it's changing colors less often. I think that looks great. Um, but it's up to you to tinker and play with each individual input, okay? So I'm happy with that now. I'm just gonna annotate this one. Oh, I press duplicate, hang on. I'm gonna add comment and the comment that I'm gonna add. So this is the uh, rainbow wheel blocks. I could go even further and I could start to play with what each one does. So in here, move 20 to 160 steps, kind of random. So let's add a comment to that one. We know that that is the length of 
each line. Can't see that. There we go. So we know that that one's that length of each line. Uh, I could add a different comment down here. So this is the width of each line. Okay. Leave it like that. Okay. So for each one, we could maybe add some more comments. It's up to you guys. Um, so now I'm happy, now I'm finished. What I'll do at the end of every project is I'm going to go to my project page to share my work. So I'm going to call it the rainbow pinwheel. Okay, and then the instructions. Uh, it's kind of easy for this one. We, all we have to do is press space to start the animation. What we could let people know is that it's going to be different each time. Every time you press space, the image should be unique. Fab. So I've finished that now. So all I need to do is press that magic share button and it's live with the world. Uh, another project. Uh, I hope you managed to follow along. Hope you managed to press pause where you needed to and things like that. Um, thanks for watching. Cheers.